had scored only three times all season, but their supposed shyness in front of goal evaporated and Luton were torn apart. Roy Wegerley, scorer of all the Rangers goals so far, opened their account with a piece of pure improvisation. Wegerly, who's a former Luton player and almost played for the United States in the World Cup, had a hand in number two as well. A nice touch off to David Bardsley and the fullback's raking cross buried by Andy Sinton. Now a real collector's item for you, a cross from Sinton and there was the former England captain Ray Wilkins who hardly ever scores getting the faintest of touches off that receding hairline. <laughs> Kerry Hughes's shot from just inside the box brought some respectability to proceedings at least as far as Luton were concerned but back came Rangers to apply the killer blows. Wegerly once more breezing past three defenders to blast home his fifth of the season. It brings him level with Jensen of Forest as the division's leading scorer. By now it was Roy of the Rangers stuff as Weatherly crossed and Mark Falco, keen to get in on the act before a three-match ban, volleyed home number five. And the Rangers captain and England defender Paul Parker hammered in the final nail as the Londoners fulfilled Don Howe's match day pledge that his team would give someone a real hiding one day soon. <laughs>